Welcome back to QCS Top Dog. Today, our handlers and their dogs take on the agility challenge as we continue our search for the QCS Top Dog. During a critical incident in a prison, a rapid response by the Delta unit is essential to ensuring our officers return home safely at the end of a shift. Boldness and obedience when faced with obstacles are essential. Let's meet some more of our contestants. Hi oh guys, I'm Ryan. This is GP Tallis. He's named after the great raging bull, Queensland hero. Um, Tallis is a oh, five and a half year old German Shepherd. I've been since he was about seven years old. Uh, and I've been in corrective services in squad for about 10 years. My name's Tim. This is Boss, and we're entering into Queensland Corrector Services Top Dog Challenge for 2020. Um, we're a dog handler team located at Southern Queensland Correctional Centre. I've been a uh, I've been a Corrective Services Officer for 12 years, and I've been on the dog squad for eight years. Boss and I have been working together for about two and a half years. And we welcome back from Townsville Correctional Centre, Luke and Diesel. Scott with Jax from Walston and Brisbane Women's Correctional Centres, Dennis and Ox at Capricornia Correctional Centre, and also Lee and Cato from Lotus Glen Correctional Centre. Let's see what our entrants have to show us in terms of agility. Okay, Luke and Diesel from Townsville, they're doing the obstacles, which is really good. Very confident, they love doing that. They, the obstacles are very important for them to uh, for the dogs to work from because they've got to be able to work with environments and go through, uh, jump up on things, go through things and it gives the dogs uh, uh, a level of confidence and it's fun for them as well. Yeah. So he's done that well, went through and the I tunnel well, very confident. And I understand they sort of broadly term this category agility mm. uh, for obvious mm. reasons. Mm. Yeah, just a variety for, mm. uh, for the handlers and the dogs, but um, yep. um, you know, when they're working and doing their um, patrols, they'll come across different obstacles and uh, got to go through fences and over and under things and mm. they're doing searches through the window, back around, see how he does the sweep with the left hand, that's yep. for the okay. dog to go back into the heel position. Uh -huh. He's enjoying that. Yes, he looks yeah, like he's enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks that's, yeah, uh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> Jumps right. through that window. T tailed waggings and obviously yeah, yeah, that a dog's yeah, enjoying yeah, Very, very happy. Yeah, very yeah. happy. Yeah, yeah, no problem with that. Yeah, very responsive. Very happy. He's got a good bond with his dog. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. They enjoy doing this and it is important for them. So um, he's looking, looking forward to it too. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, loved there it. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Because these dogs are actually paired with the handler and they, they live with them. That's right. Yeah, they live at home. They yeah. live at home with them. Yep. Yeah. They live at home with them, live with the family. Yep. So this tunnel's um, elevated. Right. Um, and uh, which is good. So he's got to jump up and go through it and he didn't have any problem doing that. He was happy to do that. There you go. He sees that. And see how he's done the sweep there to for the dog to come back into the into the heel. No, he's very good with his uh, agility, this dog. Yes, he is, isn't he? Yeah, and he's enjoying it. So. Both hands up there towards him to stay in the stay position. Yeah, he's doing that off lead, happy to do that. So what's the average length of time, Gary, for a training session or a training course to get a dog up to this particular standard? Uh, three months. Three we months. do three months worth okay. of training. Oh yeah, there's his game. Yeah. He's okay. enjoying that. Yeah, right. it's fairly intense. They do yes. all of that. They do the, yeah. they do their um, <laughs> you know, obedience, agility, criminal work. Oh, here we go. So there's an elevated tunnel as well, up on a on a plank, which is yep. good. Very responsive. Very confident. The dog's got a lot of confidence. Mm, you know, they look for that, like a dog like that that has a high drive. Yes. Very high. Barry just wants to please. Here's the window. A very good bond with Isn't his dog attentive? here. Attentive. Mm, very much so. Mm. All the signals are always the same. And how they're trained. Initially, when they do the training, they'll do those signals with the dog on lead. Okay. Then they'll do it off lead. Then they got them proficient. Back up the loaders down. <coughs> yep. Now he's going up on a car, which is really good. See how that was a slippery surface. Yep. See so went up on the bonnet onto the roof, so they have confidence to do that. Confidence between each other. Trust between the two. And here's the game. Lovely. 
So he's gone down for the used for the down with the hand. And the handle went around the back. Yeah, they'll always go they'll around. It's just the confidence. So okay. they see them. Yep. Um, put them into the stay. It doesn't matter if the handle is inside or not inside. If the command's been given to stay, that's what the dog's to do. Book a bit, bit of hesitation yep. and a bit of encouragement needed. And all this agility testing that they're going through at the moment, mm -hmm. I think that'd be really important from an operational perspective. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. It's what they face on, a, on, a, on, a, on doing their, you know, their daily job. They go through fences, through their patrols, or they'll They'll do searches in cells and they've got to climb up on things, okay. whether it's beds or cupboards or shelves or, or in industries areas where they've got to go up okay. on top of tables yep. or different, different things. They've got to search, they've got to have the confidence to be able to do that and the obstacles are there. It doesn't matter what the obstacle is, yep. this training gives them the confidence to follow the commands. The dog was very responsive with that because it was yeah. a game and that's what you want. You want to see that bond between the handler and the dog. Again, that uh, oh, Tim and Boss, Boss yeah. great job. Um, I thought Lee and uh, Cato, uh, yeah. you know, scaling that car, uh, great. Yes, yeah. great initiative, yeah. great work. Incredibly creative. Yes, look, I agree. I, I yeah. think uh, I, I think so as well. And uh, Luke and Diesel were very uh, good and consistent as yeah, well with I their agree. with their um, approach with it. So yeah, very good. Yeah, the. Um, the ones were sort of like thinking outside the box was was, was Scott, Tim, and Lee. Mm. <coughs> use of the car, use of a, a, a tunnel mm. on top of a catwalk we've never done before. Yeah, okay. Never mm. done that so, before. So that's a new technique. Yeah. Mm. It was a new technique. Mm. Yeah, I've, right, never, right. I've never seen that done. Right, there you Not, go. Yeah. Great job from all the entrants. Next time on QCS Top Dog, our Delta units will take on the search challenge as we get closer to finding out who will be this year's. Top dog. Do you have what it takes to join our ranks, working alongside our Delta units? We are currently looking for trade instructors to become part of the team at Capricornia Correctional Centre. We are also offering custodial correctional officer positions at the centre for Queenslanders from all walks of life. Join us on the front line of community safety in a permanent full-time role. For more information and to apply, visit corrections.qld.gov.au. What? You enjoying that, mate? Good boy! Yeah, mate! Woohoohoo! Good boy!